Are you serious? Are you serious? Folks, this is a close-up view of the massive solar flare eruption that the sun released yesterday. Now, <clears throat> there was a, a X-class 1.6. Now, that could still fluctuate. Uh, and a, which I think it was closer to two, but maybe more. But anyway, and then there was an M-class solar flare of 1.6, and that may fluctuate a little bit. But the sun has become extremely active. Now, you know, a couple days ago, two or three days ago, <clears throat> I did a video and I showed you those enormous sunspots that were on the sun. And my concern was these things are going to erupt. And I don't think it's, I don't think we're near done yet. I'm telling you right now, we're not near done yet. Uh, but these sunspots are quite large and they're earth facing. And anytime you have sun spots that are earth uh, facing this large well it can disrupt radio broadcasts it can it can uh, communications it can disrupt even power grids matter of fact this one you're looking at did disrupt some radio communications um, out there and and you knew it was going to anytime you have something this large facing the earth it will affect some of the uh, amateur radios, some of the other uh, radio communications. According to Christopher Balk, a forecaster for Space Weather Prediction Center, uh, this thing definitely affected some of the uh, uh, amateur radio communications, even GPS communications and signals for travel. So you might have even experienced some of that if you had your GPS on, wherever you are, you might have been experience some disruptions, these things can happen. Now, also, while this has been going on, this morning we've had storms flooding in Massachusetts, roads bringing down power lines. I mean, a powerful coastal storm has been lashing the state of Massachusetts. Strong straight line winds dumping heavy rains, bringing down trees, power lines, flooding roads. Um, wow. Wow. Uh, 11,000 customers without power. This took place about 35 minutes ago. And it is a massive situation here and still pouring down. Matter of fact, it has rained more than five inches. Uh, folks, an unbelievable more than five inches of rain has fallen. So, uh, We'll continue to monitor what's going on in Massachusetts, certainly uh, being affected by some extreme weather conditions. And you know, the Bible tells us there's a day coming when the sun will become so violent and so intense that the heat from it on the earth, that men will begin to blaspheme God because they're being scorched by the sun from its heat and they will not repent but instead gnaw their tongues for pain and will continue to blaspheme God. It tells us that in the book of Revelation. So certainly we're living in a time when I think we need to be aware that these, these apocalyptic events are developing and they certainly should be showing you the times that we're living in. Are you serious? What? Yes, and it's just beginning. The heavens will be shaken and the stars will fall like a fig tree casting their untimely figs. Unexpectedly is what that would mean. So things are getting intense. Wars, rumors of wars, pestilence, diseases. Ebola is not the only one out there. There's a lot of other viruses, deadly viruses. So we need to pray. We need to get the gospel to the whole world. We're running out of time. Are you saved? Have you thought about where you're going to spend eternity if you should die today? Which many people will. Are you saved? Give your life to Jesus Christ. We're running out of time.